Fate comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. You're listening to The Moment of Power with Azano Eddie Thompson. Daily audio devotions to energize your day presented by the Advent Hero Ministries. Our Moment of Power topic today is Truth Matters, part two. Pilate said unto him, What is truth? And when he had said this, he went out again unto the Jews and said unto them, I find in him no fault at all. John chapter 18 verse 38. If you are a sincere inquirer of truth, if you are searching for truth, the question that Pilate asks Jesus here is that very question. That's the question that you should ask. What is truth? You want to know what the truth is. As you read this scripture, it seems as if Pilate did not wait for the answer before he went out and gave the Jews his verdict, saying that he found no fault in the man. But Jesus himself talked about what the answer really is when he was talking to his disciples. In John chapter 14, verse 6, he said, quote, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. End of quote. In other words, Jesus is giving a definition of truth. What is truth? He would say, I am the truth. So everything about Jesus is the truth. The way Jesus lived and how he taught. You know, what he taught, how he lived is the truth. How he was baptized, how he worshipped, whatever he did was the truth and is the truth. And that is the definition of truth in the word of God. When Jesus was praying to his father, the Lord's prayer, he was praying to his father in John chapter 17. We read in verse 17, quote, Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. That's another definition of truth right there from the very lips of Jesus. So what is truth? Thy word is truth. The word of God, the written word of God, the Bible is the truth. The Holy Scriptures from Genesis to Revelation is the truth. For all scriptures is given by inspiration of God and it is profitable for doctrines, for reproof, for correction in righteousness that a man of God may be truly furnished and that he will be able to rightly divide the word of truth. So truth is the word of God, the word of Jesus Christ. From Genesis to Revelation, that is what truth is. So if you are a sincere inquirer after truth, if you're looking for truth, the Word of God, the Bible, is the truth. We turn now to Psalm 119, verse 142. Quote, Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Here we are told that the truth is the law of God. Do you know that Every definition of truth I have just given has been counterfeited or the devil has attempted a counterfeit. Paul speaks of another Jesus in the Bible. So the real Jesus comes and Paul speaks of another Jesus. When John was talking about that another Jesus, he said that it is the Jesus that is not come in the flesh in real human flesh. And when Paul was talking about the kind of flesh that Jesus came in, in Romans chapter 8 verse 3, he said Jesus came in sinful flesh, in other words, fallen flesh. So the devil can give you another Jesus and you think you are still with the real Jesus. Remember, the devil is the greatest con man ever. And then the devil can substitute the word of man for the word of God, the traditions of man, you know, for the word of God. And people start doing what is not the word of God. And the same with the Ten Commandments. The devil can omit some, change some. And that's what has happened in Christendom. Man has attempted to put his law 
in the place of God. Jesus had a problem with the Pharisees in his time and he told them in Matthew chapter 15, you read verses 6 to 9, you find that there that Jesus was telling them that they had substituted their own tradition for the law of God. But if you want to worship God in truth and in spirit, if you are a sincere inquirer after truth, the real law of God, written by the finger of God, unchanged from Exodus chapter 20, verse 3 to 17, that's where you find the law of God. And that is the truth. The Bible has given us the definition of truth. Jesus is the truth, the Bible is the truth, and the law of God is the truth. Anything apart from that is counterfeit, and you have been conned by the devil. Let us pray that God we guide us by his spirit. You know, the Bible says that the spirit of God is the spirit of truth. So if the spirit of God comes to you now as we pray, he will begin to lead you into all truth. He will lead you to Jesus. He will lead you to the Bible and it will lead you to the genuine law of God, not the one that has been changed by the medieval church of Rome. Let us pray. Father, we give you glory. We worship you today because truth matters. Because if we don't seek for the truth, if we are not sincere, if we are not led to Jesus, to the Bible and to the law, of God. Your word says to the law and to the testimony, they speak not according to this word. It is because there is no light in them. We want your truth. So deliver us today. Set us free. Bless us. Break the bonds of Satan, of lies, of errors, and set us free and bless us. For we pray today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you for this moment of power in Jesus' name. Amen.